A new navigation device has recently been in use during surgery at St. Francisca's Hospital in Munster. The 7D Surgical Machine Vision Technology uses camera technology similar to the GPS navigation of self-driving cars. That means we can look into the depths, into the hidden parts of the patient to see bone structures, for example. This is called surface matching. It's able to match the complete surgery area with CT images using a single snapshot, where I indicate only three or six points. The outcome, the outcome is thousands of points. This is much more precise, much faster. The decisive advantage of 7D is that the camera captures the surgery I perform, and this is displayed on a big screen. This means that everybody around me sees what I'm doing here in the depth. They can better adapt to the surgery, support me much better, and, and follow the whole procedure better. Very little effort is required to use the technology. You really need to involve the OR team from the start and train them. We have an assistant physician exclusively for controlling the device. Altogether, he is in the OR for around an hour to monitor the procedure. You need to start up the device, but this happens parallel during the preparation of the patient. Previous interoperative imaging methods required interrupting surgeries to take real-time images of patients, and often even changing rooms. With the new technology, CT images are taken before surgery and then overlaid with camera images in seconds. It saves time, increases precision, and thus reduces the rate of complication while improving patient safety. The navigation concretely helps in the insertion of implants when you perform standard procedures with standard anomalies. In March, I performed a surgery on a little boy who had an extremely malformed spine. It was an extremely difficult and complex task to identify his anatomy because it was completely different from the standard anatomy. It was an enormous help that we could direct our navigation using the CT to place the implants and to correct this malformation. The experienced surgeon sees further advantages of the system in different areas. It makes me feel more secure. It relieves a little pressure from the surgeon. It also, and, and this is most important, improves patient safety because we can lower the rate of complication. It also saves time and reduces radiation exposure during surgery. We are still wearing x-ray protective aprons, but the OR team is not completely protected. We need to use less radiation, and we can also open up new possibilities through this technology. Maybe we will be able to place implants where we did not dare to before due to safety reasons. However, this does not mean that operators should rely completely on navigation technology alone. It's like driving a car. You should never blindly trust your GPS. There can always be some errors. This is what I also teach the assistant physicians who learn to use this navigation. Do not look at the navigation first. Look at the anatomical markers, the structures. Place an implant like you would do in the classical way. The, the navigation should be more of a support, an additional safety. Will this technology make other interoperative imaging devices obsolete? Difference is good and everything has a certain advantage and disadvantage. At the moment, I see the advantage of our device, but I really do not want to discount others. But for something that is new to the market, it will find a foothold relatively fast. A conceivable advantage could be that these devices become more inexpensive at some point. Then it could become more attractive for smaller departments to buy one. 